Welcome to Project Ascension's Trifecta Guide for Tanking. In this video, we'll be going over all the core concepts for tanking, such as talents and abilities. We will not be going over RE's in this video, as you will want to look at those when aiming for a specific build. By the end of this video, you should have a core grasp on how to build a tank on Project Ascension. When it comes to tanking on Project Ascension, here are some important stats to keep in mind. For hit cap, you will want 8%. This will ensure you don't miss when attacking mobs. It is good to aim for 26 expertise as this will prevent mobs from dodging your attacks and 56 expertise will allow your attacks to not be parried. As a tank, it is not feasible to aim for this number. Lastly, and most importantly, is defense cap. You'll want to make sure between talents, RE's, and defense, you're at 5.6%. Next, we must go over what tanking is in Ascension and what kind of tanks exist. In Project Ascension, you're able to learn and pick up any ability from all classes so it's important as a tank to find synergy between high threat abilities and talent, while also grabbing a good amount of damage negation abilities. Ascension has four types of tanks. Parry tanks are tanks that mainly use two-handed weapons. They tend to do a lot of damage and have excellent magic resistance. They are average when it comes to physical damage negation, and they will focus primarily on parrying, with the main gear stat being strength. Shield tanks are tanks that mainly use one-handed weapons and shields. They are all rounders excelling at physical damage negation. When it comes to damage and magic resistance, they are average. Shield tanks will focus primarily on blocking with their main gear stat being strength. Bear tanks are tanks that mainly use two-handed weapons and if using Titan's grip shield. They have the highest health pools and good physical negation. Bears are very vulnerable to magic damage and have limited defenses they can use in bear farm. They will focus primarily on dodging and with their main gear stat being agility. Unorthodox tanks are primarily built around the legendary RE that you choose and tend to be more caster focused. These kinds of tanks will not be covered in this video. Defensives are some of the most important abilities tanks can pick up. Since bears are the most difficult to obtain defenses for as you cannot use all defenses while in bear farm, we'll start by going over defenses that you can use in bear farm. All tanks benefit from the dodge stat, making evasion a good defensive. However, evasion only increases dodge and can be interrupted if you're stunned, making some other abilities better if you're tight on epic. Dispersion is a fantastic defensive for any tank as it gives 80% damage reduction for 5 seconds and is one of the few abilities usable while CC'd. It does have some drawbacks as you will be unable to attack or cast spells while it's active. It is an ability that you do require to have threat before using. I strongly suggest any tank that can afford to pick up Soul Link and a demon to do so. The ability to transfer up to 12% of your damage to your demon for 1-4 to four talent points is one of the best. It also doesn't share diminishing returns with damage reduction talents. Most tanks will want Voidwalker or Felguard. We'll go into more detail about these in the talents. Sparkskin is another one of the few abilities usable while CC'd. For this, it is a must on a bear tank. It is strongly suggested to go Survival Instincts if you can, since it will give you better percentage than Last Stand, but both work great for bears since they have the highest health pool out of any tank. The ability is less useful for other tanks as you will want to go for abilities that give you flat negation. Aspect of the Monkey is a must for all tanks. Not only is the passive just a nice 2% dodge, but for two talent points, Aspect Mastery will give you 4% damage reduction. Savage Defense will passively reduce physical attacks against you and is a must for bear tanks. Aside from Savage Defense and Survival Instincts, all of these defensives can be used by other tanks. However, other tanks do get more defensive options to choose from. For non-bear tanks, Divine Protection is a very solid pickup for any tank as it cuts all damage in half for 6 seconds. Another ability that non-bear tanks can pick up is Pain Suppression. It only has a slight drawback of reducing your threat by 5%, but a 40% damage reduction for 8 seconds that you can apply on allies is always a good option. When it comes to parry tanks, they have a couple of abilities that are unique to them. Mocking Blow alone does not have any defensive attributes. However, it is the best defensive you can pick up for a parry tank. Iron Will is a must talent that we will be going over later in the video that will give Mocking Blow an additional effect, giving you 50% damage reduction over 10 seconds. Ghostly Strike is a core ability for parry tanks, as it will increase your parry by 10%. And if you invest talents such as Enveloping Shadows, it will also give you 10% physical damage reduction and 30% to area of effect. Lastly, Shield Tanks have the following abilities unique to them. 
Shield Wall is a great defensive that gives excellent negation for 12 seconds. However, it does have a long 5 minute cooldown. Shield Block is the bread and butter of most shield tanks and is a must grab. When leveling and selecting your starting abilities, these are great additional options to look for. Just remember that some are better for different tanks or might only be usable by specific ones. Tanks aren't all about taking a hidden ascension. Another major factor is threat. You're going to want to build up a lot of threat to hold mobs off of high-end DPS. To do this, we will go over the best abilities to look for to help increase your overall threat value. Righteous Fury is a staple in almost any tank build. Not only does this increase the threat generated by your holy damage by 45% and all other schools of magic by 25%, but with improved Righteous Fury, a talent we will go over later, you increase the threat bonus even more and reduce damage taken by 3%. Molten Armor is an excellent quality of life ability on any tank. The fire damage and 5% crit increase are decent for damage output and a little bit for threat. But the main reason you seek this ability is for the 1% to your crit cap, allowing you to easily reach the 5.6% needed for crit cap, which means you can wear more DPS oriented gear instead of defensive gear. Bears do not need to worry about crit cap. If you are a tank that only raids, then you'll want to have at least one spec that can use Vigilance for raiding. If you are doing any other type of content, such as Mythic Plus, it is a fantastic choice for threat control. Not only will it drop your target's threat by 10%, but it will also increase your threat equal to the amount of threat reduced by Vigilance. Taunts are a must for tanking. If your tank doesn't have mana issues, Hand of Reckoning is the best choice, as it'll also do holy damage. Otherwise, grab Taunt. And if you're a bear, you must pick Growl. A Mythic Plus counterpart to taunts is Righteous Defense, as you will be able to taunt three mobs off a single target. This can't be used while in bear form. The next set of abilities we will go over are based on if you select a shield or parry tank. Defensive Stance is a great ability to, that decreases damage taken by 5% and increases threat generated by 30%. It also lets you use some abilities that are locked behind stances. Thunderclap is the bread and butter for most specs. It'll allow you to obtain AoE threat when doing pulls in Mythic Plus or being an off tank in raids. This will also be a high amount of your AoE damage. Holy Wrath not only does great AoE damage and high threat when combined with Righteous Fury and some talents, it will also stun undead mobs. This ability is a must want on almost any build. Devastate will be your best choice for single target threat. It'll also help boost your DPS damage as it applies Sunder Armor which will drop the mob's armor by 4%, stacking up to 5 times. When it comes to shield tanks, you can use Shield Slam as another option for threat. For bears, you'll have two main spells. The first, which will help with AoE, is Swipe. This will be your bread and butter for AoE pulls in Mythic Plus or being an off tank in raids. Maul is the second ability used by bears. This will be your strong single target threat generator. When it comes to tanking Mythic Plus, it is very helpful to pick up AoE CC abilities. The following are the best to pick up. Shadow Fury, Holy Wrath, Shockwave. Bear tanks will be taken out of form if they use any of the following. These aren't a must, but are huge quality of life pickups if you can as a tank. The buffs that benefit tanks the most would be Blessing of Sanctuary. It gives a good stat buff and helps tanks that have mana issues. If you are a bear, stamina buff is also highly sought after as you already have a high HP pool. If you are in need of some great quality of life commons, you should also look out for Picklock, Safe Fall, and Teleport Moonglade. Your core tanking comes from the following three talents, Deflection, Iron Will, and Tactical Mastery. These should always be picked up as a parry tank. The next set of talents will help you deal damage to keep the threat up. These would be Light's Vengeance, Unfair Advantage, and Divine Strength. The capstone is the most important factor for divine strength. In total, around 15 talent points should be used to get the foundation for parry tanking. As a shield tank, you'll want to grab all of the main talents that give you block, such as shield specialization, redoubt, anticipation, one-handed weapon specialization. The goal is to have 102.4% block rating. This is to ensure that you are blocking as many hits as possible. When it comes to block value, there is no set number you want to reach. You just want as much as you can possibly get. Great talent options are Shield Mastery, Fern Grip, Critical Block. In total, you'll want about 26 talent points to ensure that you have all the key block talent.
In general, for tanks that use defensive stance, it is imperative to take improved defensive stance. 5% damage reduction and 10% increased physical damage for two talent points is one of the best talent stat ratios you can get. Bear's greatest weakness is the threat. It's all about playing a fine line of generating enough threat while also having sufficient survivability. When it comes to survivability, tanks will want to look for talents that favor stamina, such as Fervor and Heart of the Wild. A few other talents that help with survival are Survival of the Fittest for the Crit Cap, Adaptive Defense for the Dodge and 5% Damage Reduction, Aspect Mastery, which we discussed at the start of the video, when you have Aspect of the Monkey will give you 4% Damage Reduction, and Protector of the Pact, a great physical damage reduction talent and gives more damage for threat. When playing bears, you'll have some sort of rage regen issue. You will want natural reaction to help with this rage regeneration and anger management. Depending on your preference, you'll want to take either three times talents or random enchants of anger management. You'll want to have about 22 to 25 talent points for a bear tank. Now that we have covered the cores of each type of tank, next we will go over some talents that are generally good to look at depending on what you need for your tank. Spiritual Attunement is a good pick for any tank in need of mana. Any holy based tanks will want to look at Purifying Power as it gives a huge increase to Holy Wrath and Consecration for your holy damage. If you find yourself not tanky enough and need more damage reduction, here are some talents to look into. It's good to remember to find a fine line between damage reduction and damage. Many damage reduction talents will start having dim diminishing returns when stacked together. When running Master Demonologist, you'll want to use the passives from Voidwalker or Felguard. Voidwalker is great if you are not already running any talents that reduce your physical damage by 10%. Felguard is good overall as it gives 5% reduction to all damage and 5% increased damage. If you're running bear, they already have 9% physical damage reduction from talents, so best to look at Felguard or Felhunter for magic resistance, since bears take the most magic damage. There are three talents to consider for parry tanks when looking for extra damage reduction. Improved Repost, Setup, and Enveloping Shadows. The main talent giving reduction is Enveloping Shadows, however, the other two talents help keep Ghostly Strike up always. When you have hit a point that you're able to survive pulls without any issues, you can start looking into damage and threat talents. Here are some of the best to go to's. Armor to the Teeth, this is by far the best talent to attack power ratio you can get for a tank. It'll give you extra oomph when needed. Weapon Mastery is a great way to up your expertise to the minimum 25 or try to get closer to that 56 so that you don't get parried as much. For tanks that are looking for more AoE threat control, this package of talents are great. It solely focuses on Thunderclap as your main damage. If you are a parry tank, you will require the epic random enchant Sword and Thunder. For bears, going Feral Instinct and combining it with the ability Enrage can help increase your overall AoE threat. This concludes Project Ascension's trifecta guide for tanking. 